Hello there. The clocks go forward this weekend and it's also Mother's Day on Sunday, but is there going to be any nice weather to go with it? Well firstly let's take a look at Friday and this cold front does sweep in some clouds and outbreaks of rain through the very early hours across parts of the south and southeast. Not only this, but it's bringing in some slightly cooler air, so things feeling slightly chillier on Friday, but a ridge of high pressure behind it killing away any showers and notice this cold spell fairly brief as we then see some milder air move through on Saturday, but with this more cloud outbreaks of rain perhaps lingering for a time across parts of the southeast through the early hours of Sunday but then high pressure largely dominating and it sticks around as we head into next week too bringing some fine and settled conditions perhaps even some warm sunshine. Before we get there though, let's take a look at Saturday. So as that ridge builds, we'll see clear skies overnight, but that means it could be quite a chilly start, locally frosty in some places, perhaps some patchy mist and fog too. Any of that though, clearing quite quickly through the course of the morning. And then across parts of the northwest, we'll see this band of cloud and rain slowly edge its way into the northwest, turning quite blustery here too. Now between the hours of 10 and midday, there's a good chance that there's gonna be a partial eclipse. And across central and southeastern parts, plenty of clear skies to take a look at that as well. The unfortunate thing is across the southeast you're only going to see around 30% of that eclipse whereas further northwest you could see about 50% but unfortunately that's where we're going to see the cloud and the rain so very little chance of seeing it here. Stay updated on our social channels for more information on that. Through the course of the afternoon, we'll see more of this cloud and rain edge its way eastwards, moving into northern parts of England, parts of Wales and Devon and Cornwall by the afternoon. Turning very windy behind this too, a chance of gales across the far north of Scotland where we could see some quite heavy showers, a risk of hail and thunder, perhaps even some snow across parts of the highlands. It's fairly dry across central areas towards the afternoon, but quite cloudy, with the best of the brightness across the very far southeast. Temperatures a little bit cooler than they have been the last couple of days. Highs only reaching around 11, possibly 12 degrees Celsius under the cloudiest skies and where we see most of the rain through into Saturday. Across parts of the southeast though, highs reaching around 14 degrees Celsius. So a little bit cooler than it has been over the last few days, but temperatures are actually just more returning to around average for the time of year. Now into Saturday evening, this frontal system, so the cloud and the rain pushing its way southeastwards, could linger here for a time, leading to quite a wet start across uh, East Anglia, Sussex and Kent by the time we reach Sunday morning. But elsewhere, turning a little bit dry, but there's going to be plenty of cloud around during the morning, so it could be quite murky, particularly across the south and southwest, murky with some, um, with some mist and possibly some drizzle. Now through the course of the morning, this will clear its way up nicely and mostly it's going to be quite a dry day. Still a few showers just feeding into Shetland and Orkney, but through the course of the afternoon, most of these dying away quite nicely. And then that will lead to some sunny spells, particularly across central and inland areas of the UK. Now a slightly different aspect across parts of the West, Northern Ireland, parts of Wales, perhaps parts of Cornwall too, starting to see that cloud thicken up into the afternoon, skies turning fairly grey and perhaps even some spots of drizzle too. And for a time, winds will lighten off, but starting to turn a little bit breezy once again in parts of the west later into the afternoon. Now, temperatures are slightly higher, highs of 15, possibly 16 degrees Celsius, but it really depends how long that cloud sticks around across the southeast as to how warm it's going to get. But across inland areas where we see the sunshine, 16 degrees is definitely possible. Now for the rest of the week, as I mentioned, we have this area of high pressure building its way up from the south, dragging in some more milder air too. So it's likely that there'll be quite a settled start to the week next week, lots of sunny spells and also some quite warm temperatures. Just a chance though, it could be a little bit cloudier across coastal areas. But for more information on that, of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and then you'll never miss any updates. Bye bye.